Next question is from Carlos V. U.S. What do you do on a rest day when you want to go to the gym? Mobi- yeah, mobility. <laughs> yeah, you know, rest, I used to Ooh, think. I do with myself. I used yeah. to think rest meant nothing, like yeah. do nothing. Like, no, I got to sit on the couch and let my muscles build or whatever. Right. The reality is that's actually uh, slowing down recovery and slowing down progress. No joke. You're yeah. better off moving to recover than you are doing nothing. The only time it's a good idea to do nothing is when you're really messed up. Like you're so sore that you're inflamed, borderline rhabdo uh, you know, issues, mm-hmm. then do nothing. Otherwise, a rest day, the best thing you could do on a rest day is to move. So yep. if I went to the gym, if I really want to work out, if I want to lift weights on my rest day, here's what I would do. I'd go to the gym and get a real light pump on things. Yeah. That's all. Just go to the gym. And Take okay. some rubber bands. You know, I, I love those for that reason. And, and just go through mobility flows. Um, you know, there's a lot you can do. And, and again, activity, it, it helps to, to foster, a, you know, a, a faster recovery anyways. And so you get benefit from that. And it's good. It's good to train yourself too, that you can go to the gym and you don't have to smash it every single time. There's a lot you can do. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, body uh, parts that you can cover even on those off days. I like talking about this topic because I was so off when I was younger. When I was younger, younger, I had this uh, idea that if I was still sore, that it would be a waste of time going in and yeah, lifting that yeah. muscle group. Because my my thought was, okay, I, I tore and broke down muscle. It, my body's it's sore, so then I know it's still recovering. It hasn't fully recovered. If I go back in the gym and I just train it again, then I'm just going to do more damage and I'm not going to get the full benefits of the recovery. And so my thought was always like, oh, I won't train that muscle group again until I feel it's been mm-hmm. fully recovered. And the, the, the truth is that's not ideal. In fact, going and lifting that same exact muscle that's sore, but just of a much lower intensity will not only speed up recovery, but I'll build more muscle that way. And so now I have just a total different philosophy around that. So if I come into a training session and I'm really sore in an area that I was planning on working, I'm still working it. I just modify intensity. So I just, I mean, if you can squat 200, 300, 400 pounds, there's nothing wrong with squatting 135 for the day. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with slowing down the tempo, going really deep, and just getting a nice pump. I mean, honestly, our, our leg workout, Sal and I's today, looked more like that mm-hmm. because I still was recovering from the last one. I wasn't fully, so I was like, I don't need to go hammer it really hard, but I do want to get a nice pump and get a workout. So, you know, I'm doing goblet squats, holding a 70-pound. That's nothing. If mm-hmm. I can squat 300-plus pounds, you know, doing goblet squats with 70 pounds holding is, is or holding that or walking lunges. What do we do with walking lunges? Like 60, 70 yeah, pounds? Nothing. nothing. Like not, it's not, it wasn't really, really strenuous, but I know it'll be good. Like I feel already the pump from it. I know that I'll, my body will respond to it. I know that I'll recover even faster because of it, but I didn't have to go in there and hammer it. In fact, sometimes I purposely do that when a muscle group is too sore. Sometimes when it's really, yeah. really sore, I'll, I'll, go, I'll grab some bands, do some light movement, and it, mm. and it just recovers faster. It, yeah. it facilitates it recovery. back up. And I feel much better.